Donald Trump has been criticized for failing to condemn white supremacist violence which left one person dead and 19 others injured. Far-right demonstrators carrying flaming torches and screaming racial epithets clashed with counter-protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia, on Saturday, before a car was deliberately driven into the crowd, killing a woman. The BBC reports that neo-Nazis and Ku Klux Klan members punched and kicked counter-protesters, while pepper spray, used by both sides, filled the air. The unrest erupted in response to plans to remove a statue of the Confederate Civil War General Robert E. Lee. It presented Trump with his first domestic crisis, says Reuters, with many on both left and right criticizing him for waiting too long to address it and then, when he did so, failing to explicitly condemn the white supremacist marchers who ignited the melee. His wife Melania tweeted a response to the violence almost immediately, but it took the president another 40 minutes to issue a statement from his golf course in New Jersey. He condemned hatred, bigotry and violence on many sides, a phrase he repeated many times. Both the timing and wording of his remarks drew criticism not just from Democrats but also from many in his party. Our country encourages freedom of speech but let's communicate where hate in our hearts. No good comes from violence. Charlottesville, Melania Trump at FLOTUS August 12, 2017 Republican Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado tweeted Mr. President, we must call evil by its name. These were white supremacists and this was domestic terrorism. Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah said we should call evil by its name. My brother didnt give his life fighting Hitler for Nazi ideas to go unchallenged here at home. Very important for the nation to hear at POTUS describe events in Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by white supremacists, Marco Rubio at Marco Rubio August 12, 2017 The views were echoed by senior Democrats, including the party's leader in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, who said in a statement the march and rally in Charlottesville goes against everything the American flag stands for. He called on President Trump to condemn this in the strongest terms immediately. Former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders described the violence as a provocative effort by neo-Nazis to foment racism and hatred and create violence. It is not too much to ask to have a president who explicitly condemns Nazis, Brian Schatz at Brian Schatz August 12, 2017 Picking a worse from Donald Trump's statement ISNT easy, says CNN's editor at large Chris Siliza, but, the emphasis of on many sides Trump repeated that phrase twice is, I think, the low ebb. It's hard to hard to imagine a less presidential statement in a time in which the country looks to its elected leader to stand up against intolerance and hatred. David Duke, the former head of the Ku Klux Klan who endorsed Trump's candidacy in 2016 called on the president to go further. I would recommend you take a good look in the mirror and remember it was white Americans who put you in the presidency, not radical leftists, he said. The violence is the latest clash between the far right and their opponents since Trump took office six months ago. In July, about two dozen people were arrested in Charlottesville when the Ku Klux Klan rallied against the plan to remove the Lee statue. The BBC reports that four people have been arrested in connection to Saturday's violence, including a 20-year-old man believed to have been the driver of the vehicle. The FBI has opened a civil rights investigation into the incident.